In this video, I'm going to show you what happens when we combine one or more of those Fibonacci building blocks from videos 1 and 2 and link them into more complex geometrical shapes. Please watch video 1 and 2 so you can fully understand the sheer mathematical improbability at work here. In video 1, we saw the cipher that was revealed by the Fibonacci 60 digit repeat pattern. In video 2, I created a Venn diagram commonly known as the Vesica Pisces. And incredibly, the 60 digit cipher started to produce the number 360. We just happened to use units of 60 and 360 on our clocks and compasses. 60 represents time and 360 represents space. In this video, I will combine seven of those building blocks into a famous pattern known as the seed of life. But it is important that you understand the significance of what is being revealed here. In video 1, we saw that the Fibonacci 60 digit cycle conforms to our clocks here on earth and it represents one day of time. It even encodes the number 24 which is the number of hours in one day. So one circle or one cipher represents one day. Here we have seven circles or seven building blocks combined into a very famous and sacred pattern that appears throughout the ancient world. In essence, we have a diagram representing seven days. In religious texts, we are told that God created the world in seven days. I am not a religious person. I consider myself to be a student of the universe. I have an open mind and I am interested in everything that has happened here on this planet. I believe that something super intelligent and all powerful has been guiding us or trying to enlighten us to the secrets of creation. The topic of religion is very complex and I will not get into it in this video. But I do not shy away from it either. We will get into it at a later stage. For now, let me just say this. Many people are embarrassed by the notion of a God. They feel like they don't want to be fooled like children into believing in a Santa Claus that doesn't exist. They want to be adult and face what they call reality, cold hard reality. And of course you have highly educated scientists telling people that the universe is simply a random singularity and there is no purpose to life and no creator. Basically fools believe in God. I'm sure many of you are aware that Barbara Bush died recently. At her funeral, her son Jeb Bush gave a moving eulogy about how he could feel his mother's presence all around him and how she taught him to love God. He finished by saying that he looks forward to being reunited with her and all of God's children one day. Barbara Bush was the wife to one American president and the mother to another one. Many American presidents believe in God. Here is my point. These people who are in charge of the greatest nuclear arsenal and the most powerful army the world has ever seen believe in God. Now of course the fact that powerful politicians believe in God doesn't make God real. That is not the point of this discussion. The point is that the adults with their fingers on the button of the greatest nuclear arsenal, they believe in God. I have never heard any famous scientist come out and call the President of America a fool for believing in God. That is after all where they get most of their funding from. When Stephen Hawking died recently, Neil deGrasse Tyson said, His passing has left an intellectual vacuum in his wake, but it is not empty. Think of it as a kind of vacuum energy permeating the fabric of space-time. 
that defies measure. Everybody wants to believe that their life has a purpose and a meaning, no matter how cynical reality has made them. Ultimately, the only thing that matters in this world is the question of God. If you have been made to feel like a child for wanting to believe in something greater, then you are the fool. We will get back to this topic of religion in later videos. Just know that I do not endorse any single religion and many religious leaders will not like what I have to say. For now, look at what happens when you combine seven of these building blocks into the sacred geometrical shape known as the seed of life. These numbers start to form a beautiful flower. Pause the video here and take a long look. As you can see, when I combine seven of these days into this sacred pattern, the numbers in the seed start to flower. Only a fool will call this nonsense. The sheer mathematical programming and symmetry in this design is beyond anything we are capable of doing. This flower is built into the very fabric of mathematics. Don't let the cynics and skeptics take away your sense of wonder and awe at the world. They want to take away your hope so that you can worship them and their entitled offspring. All children believe in magic and Santa. Let this discovery rekindle that sense of magic in you once again. Be reborn into a world of beauty and mystery, where we are all the children of God. In the next video, we will see how this Fibonacci building block starts to generate a matrix of 216 numbers. Thank you for watching.